To be honest, I fear this guy a lot more when he's being played top instead of support, so the counters I'm naming for are those that find him top. And surprisingly, Singed is one of his biggest counters, mainly because of Tom's lack of mobility. Nar for his poke makes his lane a nightmare, and Orin because of his sheer tankiness and no need to back makes another great counter. Gangplank for his orange, Yasuo for his increased mobility, and Dr. Mundo for his tankiness make other good counters too. Tom's passive makes his autos and abilities deal a percent max health bonus magic damage to enemies. They also leave stacks on enemies, and at 3 stacks, this percentage gets increased, and some of his abilities gain additional effects. His Q makes him lash out his tongue in a direction, slowing enemies and also stunning them if they've got 3 stacks on top of their heads. His W can also be cast for free in the middle of his Q to eat minions and monsters from afar. His W is called Devour and it does exactly that. It can eat enemy minions, enemy champions if they've been stacked and this slows him down, and also ally champions and this speeds him up. It can also be recast after 1 second or he naturally regurgitates them after 4 seconds. His E makes him store a percentage of the damage he takes from every source as grey health and activating it turns his grey health into a shield. If he takes no damage for a while, he can start healing for a portion of it by consuming it. Finally, his ultimate allows him to travel to a location and he can also take an ally with him. He channels and highlights this path before taking the journey so that you're not baited into a troll trap though. If you're finding him in the top lane, he'll most likely bring teleport and you should really do the same. As for power spikes, this is another champion who's quite good in the early stages of the game and then becomes a utility monster due to his tankiness and stuns as well as saves. Level 1 with just his passive and his tongue lash or even devour can be dangerous to a stacked enemy, but when he hits level 3, you can be sure he's gonna try something out. Level 6 isn't really special in this case unless he brings a jungler to gank you from behind. Sunfire Cape is a must in the top lane damage wise, but Knight's Vow could be an option for either the top lane or bot lane. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, he can only eat his enemies if they've been stacked up, but he can eat allies anytime to gain a speed boost. Instead of eating you, he can stun with his Q when you're fully stacked, and he cannot activate his E if he's stunned or silenced, and they usually save that shield for the last second. Ultimately, have fun doing it.